Hello, um, I'm doing a little time lapsing today. I thought I would paint, um, I have a watercolor, hang on here, a little inspiration watercolor of a Blackburnian warbler. And I wanted to do that in acrylic, so I'm getting that started. I found a panel that I had primed with just kind of gray acrylic paint. And in this first section, I am creating my drawing. Um, and then I've let that dry. I'm gonna create a cartoon from it. So basically just a transfer. Then I'll paint the background and then I'll get into color. Let's talk about materials for this painting. This first layer is the background, and I keep the background really soft, no edges in it, because I want that to recede, not come forward in the painting. Uh, so, first, the paint. I am using Blick Acrylic. Uh, that's the majority of my paint. I have it set into a little parts tray uh, with a different area for each of the colors, and that way I can keep paint out and ready to go, but not have it dry out really quickly. Uh, for more intense colors, I have some Liquitex Basics. Uh, this I can't rebottle um, or save, so I try to use that just for the more intense colors. Um, for painting the background, I have a selection of brushes right here. And the bristle, this round helps with blending edges. This is a hog hair brush, so it doesn't do well in water or with acrylic. So again, I, this is, doesn't have much pigment on it. It's really just for softening edges. Um, this one is the majority of the painting right here. Uh, again, it's a tiny brush for a rather tiny painting. And then to soften the edges, particularly when I get into the bouquet background, uh, I use this guy. So. Nice big fluffy brush. That one is a makeup brush and I prefer that over some of the blender brushes that you can buy because these are more affordable and they work better. They don't lose hair all over your painting.
Once I have the background in place, I do a transfer of the bird back onto the painting. This is the drawing that I made. I did the outline uh, at the very beginning of the painting process and then I added some details so that I have a little bit more information when I make my transfer. And I used this, I just taped it right over the background once it was dry and used a sheet of, let's see, there we go, Cerel, which is transfer paper. It's used a lot in sewing um, and it works just like the white charcoal. Um, I do a tracing using a ballpoint pen, trace the outline of my bird and have the transfer paper sandwiched between the drawing and the painting underneath. And then when I take it away, I have my drawing ready to go and I can get back into color on the subject of my painting. I have the details for this painting in place. I'm pretty happy with them. I'm going to let this set up and get ready to add the final layer to this painting. The last layer of this painting is to add a layer of glow. I do that with Art & Glow, their matte medium, and also their glow powder. It comes in different colors. The reason I'm thinking about that is a lot of our songbirds migrate at night. It's important that we keep night dark. And you generally can't view a painting after dark. No light, can't see the colors. So instead of worrying about color, the glow powder allows me to highlight the outline of this songbird that's migrating at night and we get to enjoy the painting after dark. Thanks for watching.